In this video, we'll learn how to create the basic player movement we need for our game. In our two-dimensional game, we want our player to control the ship's forward motion and side-to-side -side rotation. First, I'll create an empty game object by right-clicking in the hierarchy and selecting Create Empty. Then, name the game object Player. Add a sprite for the player image by right-clicking in the hierarchy, navigating to 2D Object, and selecting Sprite. Name the sprite Mesh. Add the player ship image to the sprite by selecting the target icon next to the sprite variable in the inspector. Rescale the image to fit nicely in our scene. Make the mesh game object a child of the player game object by dragging the sprite onto the player game object. Create a C-sharp script for our player movement, named Player, by right-clicking in the Project panel, navigating to Create, and selecting C-sharp script. Double-click the script to open it in Visual Studio. Create two integer variables, one for the turn speed and one for the forward speed. Then declare a private rigid body 2D component. In our start function, set the rigid body component equal to the rigid body component on this game object using the get component function. Next, in the update function, declare a float variable for our player's turn and forward input. Get the input from the user using Unity's built-in input.getAccess function, listening to the horizontal and vertical access. Use the rotate function derived from the transform class to rotate our player. Create a new vector3 that rotates the player by the user's given input on the z-axis. Multiply the vector 3 by our turn speed and time dot delta time. Now move the player forward depending on which way we are facing. Create a vector 2 that holds the current forward direction of our game object. Set the velocity of the rigid body equal to the forward direction multiplied by time dot fixed delta time, the speed variable, and the forward input. Now add a rigid body 2D component to the player game object and set the gravity scale on the rigid body component to zero. You can reverse the player's rotation by reopening the player script and inversing the turn variable in the rotate function. In the next video, we'll be creating our player's boost ability, which will increase the player's speed for a short duration.